Welcome to my channel. This video explains the implementation of a 8-bit up-down counter using Verilog HDL in Vivado tool. A new project is already created. Then add the design source. Click next. Create a file. Give the design name. I am providing the name as counter. Click OK. Finish. Then it asks to keep the module name followed by the input. I want to have clock as one of the input. Reset. followed by mode and if you want you can add some more that is output why is the output with msb 7 down to 0 click ok Double click on it. You have the module name. Input is a clock, reset, and mode. Mode selects up or down, followed by the output. Since the modeling is a behavioral model, set the output to register. Then define the statements for the counter. Behavioral modeling always starts with always at positive edge of clock. begin followed by end then check the condition for reset if reset equal to 1 then y is equal to 0. This is the procedural assignment statement used. Else then go to mode selection. If mode equal to 1, then y is equal to y plus 1. That means this is up count. This statement performs a up counting. This is a procedural non blocking. Assignment statement else it starts down counting. Once the design is completed, you can check the zero errors, zero warnings, 
save the design if you want you can remove this save the design and if want elaborate the design so once the design is elaborated this is the behavioral modeling of a 8 bit counter with the rtl schematic so you can note of all of these parameters once the design is completed go to run simulation to verify the design A eight counter counts from zero to two fifty five maximum value. Provide the clock. So just select this, right click, force clock. Leading edge one or zero, and trailing edge is. Zero. Period of the cycle is hundred nanoseconds. Click OK. And I want to provide the reset signal to one so that the counter is at zero. For that use force constant. Force constant is enabled as one so that the counter stays at zero. Click OK. then click on run or you can decrease the time period for 1000 nanoseconds see that the counter value is 0 when reset is equal to 1 now change the reset and move force constant change the reset to 0 and mode to 1 now the counter starts up count run for another 1000 nanoseconds as soon as the mode is 1 the counter started counting the values or incrementing the values since i have simulated for only 1000 nanoseconds so it is giving 9 again you run for another 1000 it gives you the more value so the total count goes up to 0 to 255 you can increment step by step if you want you can change the mode or radix of this unsigned decimal increment the value so it goes on up to 255 it goes on counting now i want the mode to zero force constant make the value to zero because of the zero value the counter starts down count click on run for another 1000 nanoseconds try to observe the change for zero it counted maximum to 60 then started decrementing towards 1 again you run so it is down counting the counter it goes on you 
You can see that. How the counter is decrementing. If you want, you can change the waveform style to analog and see that the value is being decremented. Set the color to yellow. See that the yellow color is decrementing gradually. And for up count, the value is incremented. For each and every value, it is being incremented. So this is how a 8-bit counter is implemented using a Verilog HDL in Vivado.